Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More on them in a bit. Today we're combining two of my favorite things ever, books and organizing in one beautiful combo. I am pumped. This whole area of my office needs attention. I also am planning on organizing the bookshelves in my bedroom. I keep a lot of nonfiction here and all the fiction over there. I wanna recategorize books, restyle bookshelves, reorganize little boxes. It, it, we've got a lot to do. There may even be some book embossing in our future, question mark. And if you can tell by me itching away from the camera, I'm just ready to get going, so let's do that. Everything is about to be removed from these shelves. Chop, chop, cheerio, must, must get to work. One of the things I wanna do here is like remove some of the clutter on this shelf. Like this should be a happy place. Clutter is not allowed. Hair oil does not belong on the bookshelf, Caitlin. Jeez. That's just two shelves of books. Oh my goodness, guys. The day I have to move from this apartment is not gonna be fun. Let me tell you that. I have to remove this side now, but this thing right here is a little DIY library house that I started building months ago and I never got the motivation to continue building because it is quite detail oriented. You have to make all the books that fell in these shelves and that's how far. That is how far I got with that. <laughs> I don't want this on the shelf anymore. I do want to finish this at some point, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to find a new spot for it because I don't like the clutterness. the stackaroos of books that I have in front of me. The plan is to look at each book, assess whether I'm keeping it or donating it because I think there are some that I can donate. And if the book is a keep, then I wanna sort all of these into different piles. I think there's gonna be a self-help pile, a money pile, a Portuguese pile, just different themes for all of the books so that they're all kind of together. I was thinking of categorizing them by author's last name within each category. We'll see if I want to do that. I might just keep it as is because that tends to be something I don't keep up with, but we'll see. If each pile feels manageable, I'll do it. I also have a glass of sparkling water here because I'm already sweating. Books are heavy, who knew? I got a lot of hardcovers. yet but it's called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I was lent this to me by my mom and the font is scary small. Look at that. I don't like that. This book could be worth a million dollars to you. Who doesn't want to read that? Into the finance section. This fun fact, Marcel Denizzi was one of my professors from first year of university. And he was quite the character. On my blog, I have posts with self-care tips and morning time-saving hacks that have some, in my incredibly biased opinion, great ideas and inspo to help add variety to your current routine. Speaking of self-care, one of my favorite forms of it is writing, and having CaitlinDeSilva.com allows me to sit down and get in the writing headspace whenever the mood strikes. I use the all-in-one platform Squarespace to run my site, and I love how little effort it took to set up and make beautiful. There's a ton of great templates to choose from that can be customized to fit your taste, and blog posts can easily be taken to the next level with photos, buttons, videos, and more. Writing can be fun, but having a quality site to publish my blog posts on gets me excited to keep sharing. If you're looking to create a website as a hobby to share about the things you're passionate about, or to help advance your career as a spot on the internet to post your portfolio of work and or sell your products, then you're gonna wanna check out squarespace.com today for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the URL squarespace.com slash Caitlin's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.
to this day, I think one of my favorite organization purchases have been these bins that I got for my office a couple of years ago. They're from Indigo and I still carry them in many more colors than the ones that I bought. I adore the style of them. I love the simplicity of the boxes. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. So you can really find combinations that work for you. I'll have them linked below. But one of the only complaints I had about them for the longest time was the fact that once they're closed, it's really hard to tell what's inside them. So what I found myself doing is often lifting up the lids quickly to just find what I was looking for. And then the lids would be looking a little wonky because the tornado of me had passed through. But a few months ago, I was shopping around and they finally came up with little labels for the boxes. So I'm going to label my boxes today. I didn't really have to do much organization with them. They're pretty much sorted through. I also have my beautiful label maker. Both of these will also be linked down below. I'm excited. <laughs> This is gonna solve an issue in my life and it's going to make it so that they're more functional. I might even put them on the side of the box so that we can keep it clean but still know what's inside. This could be the move. My book collection is still growing vastly, but it's growing. <laughs> However, I don't have enough books to fill my my bookshelves completely with just books. So I feel like to really maximize the space, these boxes have really come in handy because they add a nice visual to break up the books apart but also make it a more functional space for me to use for storing other things that I don't have room for in my apartment. My apartment definitely lacks storage. <laughs> That's way too small. Well, let's try that again. Oh my god, <laughs> why can I not get this right? Okay, this one's gonna be it. Now look at that, labeled, ready to go. I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll be back to show you the finished result. organization session I knew that there had to be one thing that I purchased for this and I am so excited and here it is if you have no idea what it is fair ladies and gents it is a book embosser I got this customized on Etsy I'll have a link down below the seller was very fast and did a great job and what it essentially does is allow me to put a piece of paper in between here clamp it and then it'll say from the library of Caitlin De Silva so I get to mark all of the books that I have put in hard work in collecting. Okay, I've only used it once because I wanted to do it on camera, but I'm basically going to clamp these as I put them on my bookshelf so I know that all of the all of the books are are, are embossed. Let's take talking across the divide here, a great book that really has helped me with having better, more productive conversations, especially these days. I'm going to take a page. We've slipped it in and press. Do you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I think I'll do it on the first page. This is so pretty. feeling a little cramped. I am sweating because Toronto is very hot now, which is exciting, but also not ideal when my AC isn't installed. But that's a conversation for another day. I think what's gonna happen here is health, money, business, self-help, and then we'll see where we're at. I decided not to alphabetize the categories by author's last name because I have no willpower for that anymore and also I don't really think I have a big enough collection for that to really matter if my collection 
grows considerably one day, then I feel like organizing by author's last name would really come in handy. But I don't mind taking an extra few seconds to find the 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 person I'm looking for. Oh yo yo. Stay stay. Bada. Okay, 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 okay. I think here is where I want all the Portuguese books to go. That's kind of doing something, eh? Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, do I have two of these? <laughs> okay, well, that's exactly the same book. Cool, guess I'm donating that. It's gonna look so nice in the background of videos when I'm talking at my desk. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> clearing the book shelf case thing and I wiped it down got it ready now I need to tackle these guys I have a cloth for wiping down some of these books because some of them have been sitting on a shelf for a long time and they just have collected some not so fun dust so oh this one's really bad Yikes. In addition to dusting my books, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with my nonfiction and just go through them, see if there's any ones that I wanna donate. But unlike the nonfiction category, maybe kind of sort things into genre like romance and fantasy. But I really wanna pull out the books I haven't read yet and set them aside because currently they're all kind of jumbled together on my bookshelf. And I know because I have to stack things a little bit strategically on that shelf, that I don't see everything. So when I'm choosing a new book, sometimes I forget that I have certain ones on my shelf. So like one of those books is King of Battle and Blood by Scarlett St. Clair. Heard great things about it, having yet read it. I bought Crescent City and House of Sky and Breath, both of which I intended to read when I bought them. And uh, I totally forgot that I hadn't read them yet until I started doing this. They were at the bottom shelf of my bookcase. And I'm like, wait a second, I have, not read those. It's gonna be a fantasy summer for me, apparently. I don't know why I have a copy of the Hunger Games here. My Hunger Games series is back home, I think. Yeah, why is this here? Ooh, the stack of books I haven't read is bigger than I thought. Well, those are all the books I haven't read. This is the book that I'm most ashamed not to have read yet, The Midnight Library. I've heard incredible, incredible, incredible things. Everyone tells me I need to read, I need to read it. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and do that this summer. I think I'm only gonna emboss the books I have read. I feel like the books I haven't read, I wanna leave un unembossed so that when I read them, I can give them a satisfying clink. really wish more books came in this size. This is the size of the Soulmate Equation, Our Stop, and the Flat Share. They're very large in comparison to like, say this is a typical paperback size. Book line and Zinker by Tessa Bailey, so cute. But the difference in sizing between these books is quite large. That extra bit of real estate makes it so satisfying to read physical books. I find since becoming a, a e-reader, I find it actually more comfortable to read on my, on my Kindle or my Kobo as opposed to physical books, which is so painful to say because I love physical books. There's something about the experience of holding them and them being tangible that is the peak experience as a reader. But it is an adjustment when you have been reading a lot on your e-reader to go back to physical copies. Hence the reason why I typically 
haven't been buying fiction books. I know I have in the last few vlogs shown some fiction books that I bought, but I usually don't. I keep them to my e-reader because they're just so much easier to read off of there. They're cheaper, they don't take up as much space, all the things. But if more of them came like this, I'd be in trouble because this is a satisfying reading space. I've never been one to organize by color, but I might try because it's a smaller stack of books I have to do that for. I did organize by color, but a lot of them are hidden up there. Not a perfect effect, but it's doing something. These are also all organized by color in the back, but then these in the front, ironically enough, it looks like I purposely put all the reds together, but uh, this is my TBR pile. It's these, these three, this one right here. Not horrible. You know, it could be a worse situation, but everything else I have read. So that feels good. Even though this bottom shelf is quite full, I personally like to put decor on these other ones just to break it up a bit. But I am running out of space if I keep it to only two shelves. We might not have the luxury of doing that in the future. <laughs> So happy I got that done today. It's been something on my to-do list for so long and it feels good to not only have gone through all my books to really assess what I have and what I haven't read so that I know what I should or shouldn't be buying in the future, but all my books are embossed, they all are wiped down, they're clean, they're organized. It just feels really good to have something that you love so much, something that you're so passionate about displayed in a way that makes you proud. For me that applies to books, but whatever your hobbies or interests are, if you have a collection that you're really proud of, I think taking that time to make sure it's displayed in a way that honors that is, it just feels good. It feels good to have your home reflect. Sorry, there is a spider. I need to go get it. Anyways, so as I was saying, thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click that link in the description box below to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I wanna know in the comment section down below, how do you prefer to organize your books? Are you by genre? alphabetically by author's last name, by color, what's your preference? If there's any areas in my apartment that you're curious to see me organize next, also let me know. I'm gonna go do nothing now because that's what I feel like doing, absolutely nothing. I don't wanna move at all. My body hurts from all the up and down I've done today and we just need to relax. Like the video if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Hopefully one that requires a little bit less physical labor on my end. <laughs> Bye everyone. Yeah, I'm watching the rise and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride. This one's for who knew I'd make it just needed some time. This one's for my wife. Could've left a thousand times just so by my side. This one's for the grind. I knew it would happen just had the strength in my mind.